when you hear the call, you answer the call, period. You just move forward and you take the next steps, period. You follow your guidance, your intuition, and your gut instincts, period. When you hear the call, you answer the call, period. You just move forward and you take the next steps, period. You follow your guidance, your intuition, and your gut instincts, period. The rest of it doesn't have to make sense. It will make sense. It will all circle back and make sense, but um, it's not gonna necessarily make sense as you're taking those steps if you're looking outside of yourself for the answer. The only place you can go for your answers is your own intuition and your own gut instinct and recognize when you are buying into a limited belief system. You know, like, oh, well, maybe now I shouldn't launch my program because it's the holidays, or maybe I should launch my program because it's the holiday season and this and that. Like, if you feel called to launch your program, then that's when you should be launching your program period, done. There's no questioning anymore. There's no hesitation. There's no wondering if it's the right choice. There's no going back and forth. Can you feel how less intense the energy is when you just go with it? When you just move with the flow of what you're being guided to create and you don't stop and question it to death and go back and forth in your head, back and forth with the thoughts and the doubts and the well, what ifs and all of that, it doesn't matter what's going on in the external world. So many spiritual entrepreneurs have said, well, I don't know if it makes sense for me to start my business now. It absolutely is the perfect, I'll take it, it's the perfect time for you to take action right now if that's what you're intuitively guided to be doing. And I can say as a spiritual teacher, healer, and light worker myself, and if you're watching this video, you resonate with this, it is, because of what's happening in the world that you're even being called on a deeper soul level to step more fully into your mission at this time. So when it doesn't make sense to the rest of the world, the rest of the world meaning the 99% of the population that is not on the same path as you, waking up to um, higher consciousness, because 99% of the world is still stuck in their dogmas and their conditioned belief systems and the old structures and the old paradigm. And you are waking up from that. You are waking up from the matrix. Don't look at the rest of the world as your signpost for what you sh should be acting on. And I don't even like to use the word should. You know what you should be taking action on. And it doesn't matter what the rest of the world is doing or what's happening in the news or the media or anything like that. You only need to be honoring your own intuitive guidance and gut instincts, calling out your own BS when you are stuck in fear and or procrastination or something else that's holding you back, some form of sabotage, so you can continue to move forward and take the next step. It does not have to make sense in your reality of all your other friends and family members and neighbors and communities and news and media and everything else of whether or not it's okay for you to launch your passion or purpose-driven, mission-driven business. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only thing that matters is that you're able to check in with yourself and you take the next step that you're being called to create. Done. Take that step and then you take the next step and then you take the next step and you don't get in your head about, well, what if this or what if that or what if this or what if that? None of that. that all of that hesitation, all of that noise, all of that mental chatter that you have going on in your head is a narrative that you're telling yourself. And it's a narrative that's you've probably been telling yourself for a while it's based on whatever conditioning and programming and everything you've been buying into up until now and in actuality if you want to create something different for yourself 
you should be taking the opposite action of what you're familiar with doing. What, what, whatever's familiar to you of what your most familiar action would be in a given scenario, you probably need to take the opposite action. The one that is least familiar, if you want to shift your reality from into something different. A lot of you wanna do a complete 180 compared to where you're at now. Well, if you wanna do a complete 180 compared to where you are now, then you have to make a completely di different decision. And it's gonna be the one that you normally wouldn't make. It's gonna be the decision you normally would talk yourself out of. That's the one, the least familiar, the least comfortable, the most uneasy or makes you the most nervous or scared um, because it's getting you out of your familiar uh, comfort bubble. That's the action that you need to take. And so you have to just pay attention when the narrative kicks up and starts to tell you all of the reasons why it might not be a good time to pursue your business. I can say, you know, 2020, a lot of people are like already ready for 2020 to be over. 2020 was an amazing year for me. And I say that with no guilt or shame, even though I know there are other people in the world having a different experience. I don't believe that it's my job to um, not share with you the truth that I know that you are a powerful, creative being, a divine being of love and light here to manifest your dreams into physical reality and that you have the power to do so, even if the rest of the world is dictating something different. You are that powerful of a creator and I would be, in a, be doing a huge disservice if I played small and didn't own how beautiful and how much of a blessing 2020 was for me and how excited I am to see the last quarter and how this is gonna roll into 2021. Um, it would be such a disservice if I dimmed that my experience and dim that in order to fit into the narrative that the society at large is buying into or the global the global community is buying into it's not my job to hide what is working and hide and dim my light in order to not appear as boasting or not to appear as overly confident or not to appear as what someone would perceive as selfish even though that's not the case right it's just your ability to shine your light right now and your ability to share truth and speak truth and let everyone know that there is a way and a path that can lead to manifesting a beautiful reality there's a reason why People are having very, very different experiences to what is happening right now in the world. And I believe that truly to be based on the level of consciousness that you're vibrating at, um, your frequency, your, your frequency, your vibration, your level of consciousness, how you perceive the world, how you perceive yourself, how you perceive your situations, your perception creates your reality. And there's a reason why so many people are having totally different experiences. It has to do with how much of the inner work has been done prior to having shit hit the fan, right? You know, I remember when shit hit the fan in 2008, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and it was very much similar to what's happening now for a lot of people. You know, I was talking with someone at lunch about this the other day, you know, like I can see how people would be very fearful or very, um, you know, nervous in this time, because that was me, 10 years ago, 11 years ago, 12 years ago, during the economic collapse in the US and all the financial distress and all the job loss and the loss of income, loss of wages, all of the all that kind of stuff that was associated back then. Since then, I've done so much inner work and inner growth and higher and, and evolved into a higher level of awareness that it is impossible for me to perceive the current situation from the same vantage point that I did when I was a victim in 2007, eight, nine, and 10, right? So it is impossible for me, it's not even in my realm of perception or my awareness to perceive a situation that would have rocked me to my core 15 years ago. You know, I was a mess, stress, 
my immune system was shot. I was landing myself in the ER with walking pneumonia. I would have been a very, very, I, sh I would be very, very concerned possibly if I was still that stress ball now about, I would be like considered high risk probably to get, uh, to have more complications with the whole vi COVID virus probably because of the weakened immune system. That's not the case now because of because of the perception shift, the frequency shift, the vibration shift that has occurred over the course of doing the work for so long. And so I guess the reason I'm sharing this right now, because I'm trying to circle this back to timing, right? Uh, because so many spiritual entrepreneurs feel that maybe it's not the right time to launch their business right now. They're finding all the excuses in the book. And I want you to, I want you to know that you're being called to step forward and share your business, uh, share your gift or your message in the form of a business as the vehicle for your your light and your wisdom and your natural talents and gifts to be moved through you and out into the world with whoever needs that gift. So the people that are stuck in that situation the same way I was stuck 11, 12, 13 years ago, um, desperately need your healing guidance, your energy healing, your higher wisdom, your transformational, multi-dimensional support that you offer. We are moving into that phase. This is where we are going as humanity, moving into this higher level of consciousness. And in order to start to perceive things from this higher vantage point, you have to be able to peel away all the layers of the untruths and everything that we've, you know, that, that will eventually allow your vibration to rise. And that's why you're being called on such a deep level because shit is hitting the fan for a lot of people. And even though I can't personally relate to the feelings because I don't, I, I honestly can't create fear when I don't have fear and I wouldn't want to, right? I, there's a reason why you're being called to share your gifts. There's a reason why I'm being called to share my gifts and share my message. And it's not so I can dim my light and pretend I'm afraid when I'm not afraid and put myself in a box that I'm not in, right? It's so I can shine my light brightly and resonate with whoever needs to hear this message and help you step into your light and your gift and your mission and your message, you know, because everyone that needs to hear your gift and message is equally needing that support right now. So follow your soul guidance, follow your gut instinct, follow your intuition, because when you do that and you forget about using the external reality as a, as a signpost, that's when you will be coming into full soul alignment with your mission work and aligning your will with the higher will of the collective and moving into what I refer to as soul aligned success. So I hope this video finds you well. And if you have any questions or comments about it, please leave it below this video. And I look forward to tuning in with you in another episode very soon. Namaste.